Hello everybody, we're back today and today we're going to learn about static equilibrium tension. Now, uh, this is part of the dynamics section, but it's not exactly dynamics because there is no acceleration in these problems. So, the people who study this, these types of questions are, let's say for example, civil engineers or architects when they're working with things that are never supposed to move. So essentially what we want is we want to solve problems where we have wires that are connected to objects and the objects are for example hanging and we need to figure out what the tension in, the, in those cables are. So the first thing we're going to write down is that the free body diagram, the, the sum of all forces in both vertical and horizontal sum, or I sh shouldn't say sum again, equal zero. So the sum of all forces in both vertical and horizontal equals zero. Essentially what this means is that I can break the problem down into a vertical component and I can break it down into the horizontal components and in both cases the sum of all my forces must equal zero and, in, in, and it's also true in the horizontal as well. Now the reason for this usually when we draw a free body diagram right we usually write the equation summation of the forces equals F net which is correct but in this case we, we know right that F net is equal to MA but we also know that for statics for things that are not moving we know that A must be equal to zero therefore we know that MA is equal to zero and so that's where I get this equation from here. This is only for static problems. Now, uh, let's, let's take a look at a, a specific problem and let's try and solve it. So let's say we have a wall here and let's say we have a wall here. This is, I'll say this is an example. And we have a mass right there in the middle and we have two cables connected one this way and then one like that now we want to figure out what the tension in these two cables are so we'll call this F1 and we'll call this F2 but what we're given I should have drawn this a little bit more flat. There. What we're given is this angle theta and this angle theta, and they're equal. So now, let's go ahead. If we're, if we're given the mass, let's say the mass of this is 150 kilos, and let's say theta is equal to 25 degrees. Calculate F1 and F2 or find F1 and F2. Now the one thing you're going to recognize here is that if the theta is the same on both sides then F1 so F1 is going to equal F2. Why? Well that's because it's symmetric about this center axis here and this 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 angle is the same as this one 
Uh, so therefore, those two tensions are going to be the same due to symmetry. You can do the math as well, but for now, let's just assume that it's all equal to F. So if you want to give this a, a shot before I go ahead and solve it, you can pause the video now. If not, then here's the solution. We're going to go vertically. We can do it horizontally. Horizontally is not going to lead us anywhere. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually draw the free body. And now I'm going to draw the vectors. I'll do them in, in here blue. So I've got one vector going like this and another vector going like this. And now, so these, these two vectors are F1 and F2. But I'm going to change colors again. And now I'm going to draw the horizontal and vertical components of these two vectors. Here is the horizontal component. And here is the vertical component. Now, this here is going to be my theta. And let me do the same for this side. Notice that the blue vector I have separated into horizontal and vertical. The other thing which I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to specify my positive directions. And just like math, I'm going to pick up as being positive and to the right as being positive. Now I will start to solve this. <clears throat> so let's do my horizontal first. This isn't going to lead me anywhere, but let's just do it so that you can see what what is the process. So this vector here is f1 cosine theta. And this vector here is f2 cosine theta. Now this one is negative, so I would write negative f1 cosine theta. And then this one's to the right, so it's positive, plus f2 cosine theta. <coughs> and now, these two are going to give me 0 because they are equal and opposite. They have to be equal and opposite because, as I said before, the sum of all the forces must add up to be 0. Now, unfortunately, this equation is not going to, even if I replace, let's say if I go, OK, f1 equals f2 equals f, then I'll, I'll just have negative f cosine theta plus f cosine theta equals 0. This really doesn't help me uh, find the answer of f. All it's saying is it's, it's like saying negative x plus x equals 0. It doesn't really take me anywhere. So let's leave that as the end of our horizontal analysis. And let's now go to our vertical analysis. Now we'll say again, the sum of the forces must equal 0. OK, that's the precondition, right, for static equilibrium. For static equilibrium to be true, this, the sum of the forces must equal 0 in both horizontal and vertical. Now when we come to this problem here, well, We've actually, we haven't finished drawing the free body diagram here, so perhaps I'm negligent in, <coughs> I should have first finished that. So let me change colors back to the blue and say there's one more force here. Remember the magic sentence, what's touching it plus gravity? Well, the ropes are touching it, those forces I have drawn. But the one thing in that sentence that I haven't drawn yet is gravity. And there it is. Now, 
how many forces do I have vertically? Well, I have one here, two, and three. Now I will change back to black, and now I'll say, okay, let me add them all up. So this left one over here is going to be F1, and it's, it's up, so it's going to be plus F1 sine theta. Sine because it's the opposite side of the angle. And same for this one. Plus, because it's up, F2 sine theta. And then finally, gravity going down would be minus mg equals 0, right? Because I know it's 0, all of them. Now, I can do, use this um, equality, and, and I can say, oh, okay, well, I got f sine theta plus f sine theta. And now I'll take the minus mg to the other side, and I'll get equals positive mg. And now I'll do a simplification here, f sine theta plus f sine theta. Since I know the forces are equal, I can say 2f sine theta equals mg. And now, solving for f, let's just pull it up a little bit and give us some more space. And I'll say f equals mg divided by 2 sine theta. Now I can put my numbers in. My original number for the mass was 150, and my theta was 25. So I've got 150 times 9.8 divided by 2 times sine 25. And that'll give me 17. 39 newtons. So that is the the tension in both of the in both of the ropes. Just to be clear, uh, one thing I've kind of glossed over really quickly here, in case you're weak at your geometry, if this is a right angle triangle and this is theta and this is the hypotenuse, then obviously the opposite side is going to be h sine theta and the adjacent side is going to be h cosine theta. You're going to have to memorize that. That's just the regular uh, trig rule, like Sokotoa. But it's good to kind of keep that in your brain, that the hypotenuse multiplied by the opposite side is the hypotenuse multiplied by sine theta, and the adjacent side is the hypotenuse multiplied by cosine theta. Okay. Uh, also, be aware that sometimes instead of that angle, sometimes you can be given this angle. And now, now it's flipped, right? So if that's the hypotenuse, now if, if you get theta up here, now this becomes h cosine theta, and this becomes h sine theta. Sine is always the opposite side. And cosine's always the adjacent side. So that's kind of the end of this problem. All right, let's start another problem. And I want you to try this one on your own. You should be able to solve this one. Here is a wall. So here's another example. Here is a wall. And there is another mass that is hung with two ropes. One rope goes like this, and then the other rope goes horizontally to another vertical wall. And we know that this angle here is 30 degrees and we are given that the weight of the object is equal to 750 newtons. K 
calculate, let's call it uh, rope A and rope B, calculate the force or tension in rope A and the tension in rope B. Yeah, go ahead and pause the video now and see if you can solve this problem. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, uh, what are we going to do? Let's, let's draw the free body diagram here, FBD. And here it is. And now we've got, let's draw our, uh, maybe our, let's use a different color for the forces here. Uh, let's pick, I don't know, let's pick something different here. We've got a force like this, horizontally. This is FB. And, okay, so our other force is going to be FA. And it's going to be going up at an angle like that. And now what I'm going to do is I will break up FA into horizontal and vertical components. And maybe we can do that with like maybe a different color here. Maybe we'll pick this yellow here. Here we go. And there it is. Now remember, our theta is here. That's 30 degrees from up here. You can see it right there. So now we know that the vertical is going to be FA cosine theta and our horizontal is going to be FA sine theta. And FB is already horizontal, so we don't need to do anything there. Now let's go ahead and write down our some our let's say our uh, let's go ahead and do our horizontal analysis first, and we'll say summation of the forces should equal zero. So now, how many horizontal forces do we have? We've only got two. So we've got FB, which is positive, minus FA sine theta. And now that's all going to equal zero because there's only two forces. By the way, hey, there's one other force which I have forgotten to draw on here, uh, and that is gravity. So we should actually put that down. Mg. Oops. I got to pull this up a bit. Mg. And by the way, that was given to us in the question as being 750 newtons. That was the weight here. So um, now let me go ahead and, well, where can we go from here? We can't, all we can say now is that we, we know that FB is equal to FA sine theta. We know what theta is, but we still don't know what FA is and what FB is. So at this point, uh, we're going to leave this. We'll come back to it, but let's go ahead and do our vertical analysis now. And we'll say, again, summation of the forces equals 0. And now we've only got two vertical forces. We've got this one and this one. That's it. So therefore, we'll say positive Fa cosine theta minus mg equals 0, right? Because that's up, this one's up, and this one's down. So there's my signs. Now from this, I can get Fa. That's easy to get, right? Because I can get Fa cosine theta equals mg. Therefore, Fa is equal to mg divided by cosine theta. And now I can solve this because I know what theta is and I also know what mg is. mg was 750. So 750 divided by cosine 30 
and that's going to give me 800 that gives me 866 newtons now that's 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 for fa so i found fa and now i can take that answer and put it into here this equation and i'll go 866 times sine 30 and that's going to give me 433 newtons so that's fb and that's fa and we're done this problem